In 2010, Ford rolled out the 1.6 EcoBoost GTDI engine, bringing turbocharged technology to its compact cars like the Ford Focus and C-Max. This engine was part of Ford's downsizing strategy, replacing larger, naturally aspirated engines with smaller turbocharged ones that could deliver the same performance while cutting fuel use and emissions. Over the years, the 1.6 EcoBoost gained both praise and criticism, praised for its power and efficiency, but also notorious for certain reliability issues. Let's break down its design, common problems, and overall dependability. The 1.6 EcoBoost is a 1.6-liter inline-four gasoline engine with direct fuel injection and a turbocharger. It was engineered to replace Ford's older 1.8 and 2.0 Duratec engines. The engine block is made of lightweight aluminum with thin cast iron liners for strength and durability. Inside, it features a cast iron crankshaft, forged connecting rods, and hyper-eutectic aluminum pistons with resin-coated skirts to minimize friction. The pistons are paired with diamond-like coated pins, improving wear resistance. A cast aluminum oil pan not only reduces weight but also adds rigidity to the block. This combination of lightweight materials and robust components made the 1.6 EcoBoost strong enough to handle turbocharging while keeping weight and emissions in check. On top sits a 16-valve aluminum cylinder head paired with a multi-layer steel head gasket. The design integrates the camshaft housing into the head for compactness. Each cylinder uses four valves, two intake, two exhaust, with slim valve stems for improved airflow. The valve train relies on shimless buckets instead of hydraulic lifters, available in multiple thicknesses for precise clearance adjustments. The engine employs dual overhead camshafts with twin independent variable camshaft timing, TEVCT, for optimized performance and fuel economy. A dedicated cam lobe drives the high-pressure fuel pump that powers the direct injection system, using six-hole injectors positioned near the spark plugs for efficient combustion. This setup allowed the engine to deliver solid horsepower and torque without sacrificing efficiency. The centerpiece of EcoBoost technology is the turbocharger. The 1.6 EcoBoost is equipped with a Borg Warner KP39 turbocharger, a compact and responsive unit designed to minimize lag. Exhaust gases drive the turbo with a water-cooled center section to handle heat. Compressed air passes through an air-to-air -air intercooler before reaching the intake manifold via a 52mm electronic throttle body. Exhaust exits through a three-way catalytic converter, helping the engine meet Euro 5 emission standards. This system gave the 1.6 EcoBoost the punch of a larger engine while keeping emissions low. One of the most widespread and serious issues involves the cooling system. Failures in the water pump or thermostat housing often lead to coolant leaks and overheating. In extreme cases, overheating can warp the cylinder head or blow the head gasket. Repairs that are both expensive and labor-intensive. The 1.6 EcoBoost uses a belt-driven timing system, and premature wear has been reported. If the belt fails, pistons and valves collide, often destroying the engine. Regular inspection and replacement are critical to avoid catastrophic damage. While the turbo adds power, it's also a common failure point. Owners report turbo lag, poor boost response, or complete failure. Replacing a turbo is costly, making this a key concern for long-term ownership. Many owners notice the engine consumes oil at a faster than normal rate. This can stem from worn piston rings or valve seals, requiring frequent top-ups and, in severe cases, expensive engine repairs. The direct injection system relies on precise injectors, but clogging and failure are common. Symptoms include rough idling, hesitation, and poor fuel economy. Injector replacement is often the only fix. Because the 1.6 EcoBoost is heavily dependent on electronics, failures in sensors or the ECU are not unusual. Warning lights, limp mode, or misfires may occur, often requiring professional diagnostics. 
As with most direct injection engines, carbon deposits build up on intake valves over time. This reduces airflow and performance. Walnut blasting or chemical cleaning is often needed to restore efficiency. The Ford 1.6 EcoBoost is a mixed bag. On the one hand, it delivers strong performance, modern technology, and impressive efficiency for its size. On the other, it suffers from serious reliability concerns, especially related to the cooling system, turbocharger, and oil consumption. For enthusiasts, it's a fun and capable engine when maintained carefully. For everyday drivers, the long-term repair costs may outweigh the benefits. In short, the 1.6 EcoBoost represents Ford's bold move into turbocharged downsizing, but its real-world durability leaves much to be desired.